All right, so uh, I'm going to do another dinner now. And one of the points that I wanted to make for um, for these videos was that um, nothing's prepared beforehand. You see, we've got nothing ready at all. I wanted to show uh, them as taking stuff out of the fridge. And right, you know, so we're going right from the start. Um, and that was the kind of the point of, of these videos as well. Um, so what I'm going to cook today is some smoked haddock, broccoli and rice. And I'll show you how I do my I'll show you how I do my rice. That's the first thing we'll do, we'll do some rice. Um, a few different ways of doing rice. Uh, one of my first jobs actually was in a Chinese restaurant and uh, obviously they use rice cookers but this is the basic way of them how they would do it. Um, take one. I really should just get a bigger ramekin or a bigger thing. I can't believe that there so it reminds me to refill it. Um, so just over one ramekin of rice and I'm basically just going to wash it by just rinsing it lots and lots of times. In the water. Just use the dirty fingernails, my service and my bicycle today. Update on the audio situation. So I was looking into why the sound was muffled and, and what I could do about it. And I was just going to cut a hole. I was going to drill a hole in the plastic case and then just buy another plastic case for if I wanted to use it. I mean, I'm never going to go underwater with it, but you know, if I want to use it outside or anything. So when I looked at the plastic case, at buying another plastic case, what do they sell you along with it is a plastic cage. And so with the with the wee bracket at the bottom that you can attach it to all the accessories. So uh, that's what I actually need is that wee cage. Um, so I'll be getting that tomorrow. So the audio will be better from from tomorrow. So that will get sorted out. And I didn't just sell you that with just like a couple of quid. Anyway, that's the story with that. Now when it comes to, to cooking rice, um, I'm going to use a hot tap because it's fucking cold. Uh, when it comes to cooking rice, a couple of different ways of doing it. I'm just going to um, I'm just going to keep rinsing this rice off a few times. Um, and so I put I had one ramekin of uh, rice just just overfilled. And so you get one measure of rice, and then you're going to put two of water. And then you can put stuff into that water. You can put ginger in it. You can put cardamom seeds, uh, cloves, uh, herbs and things. I'll do a, a vegetable and herb rice one day as well, um, which is quite good. But today I'm just going to have it quite plain. Um, I don't think ginger and cheese are going to go really well together, so I'm not going to bother with that. I'm just going to... I might put a few peas in it at the end. Cheesy peas. So this is starting to get... Just once it runs clear, you're just washing all the starch off it, and so that means when you boil it, it's, it's going to be nice and sort of separate. So my cousin does rice quite differently. He doesn't like the fact I do it this way. He says his way is better, um, and he does produce nice rice. But uh, basically, he'll cook it in lots more water and then drain it at the end, uh, and it's pretty good. So I'll, I'll do that another day as well. I'll, I'll cook it up a different way so you can see a few different ways of doing it. Um, I went out today to um, I went out to buy mackerel. I was actually hoping to find some mackerel that I could uh, show you. I can cook that for you today. But uh, I went to I went up to Waitrose. So I don't normally go there. I normally go to Tesco or Sainsbury's. But um, we treat went to Waitrose, but they didn't have any mackerel today. So I just saw that smoked haddock, and I thought I'll have that instead. A wee bit small, but um, all right. So I think that's about there now. And what I'm also going to show is a, um, yeah, that'll do it. I'm going to cook some broccoli with this as well. Where did it come from? Um, I'm going to cook some broccoli with this. And what I'll show you is a wee technique for, um, like if I want broccoli today, I've got to boil some. If I want it with the, the other, I'm going to one of these. 
If you want broccoli tomorrow, then you've got to cut it up and boil it and have a pot of water, and it's a right hassle. But I will show you a wee technique. Something that we used to do in the restaurant uh, years ago and sort of frowned upon, but um, so it's a two and a, just a wee bit extra of water, and that's it. And I'm going to just stick that onto the heat. There. you really got to keep an eye on this because it just overflows. Just a pinch of salt. For my cooker and salt. Check this out. This is my, uh, I'll talk to you one day about my spice rack. Oh, it's maybe really dark in here actually. Let's see what we can do with the light. Uh, my pot lid rack. So I've been meaning to do that for ages and I only just did that the other day. And it's just cup hooks and the, the, the lids just sit on it. But what that does is it, it removes a bunch of, uh, these were all in a drawer, all on top of each other. Keep an eye on that because that is going to over boil and the, all the froth is going to come over, so that's a, a nuisance. Uh, broccoli, I'm going to do next. So all I'm going to do with that with that rice is I'm just going to uh, just going to boil it up once it comes to the boil and turn it down, um, and that's it. And then once the water's uh, disappeared, turn it off, and it will just sit there for it's very flexible so it'll sit there for you know 40 minutes but this is a ceramic hob it's not induction so when you turn it off there's residual heat so um once this is boiled up and the water's almost disappeared i'll show it to you i'll, I'll you'll put the fork, put a, a fork in it and uh, you'll see it um you can then just turn it off and just leave it and, it'll do, and you want to do that because it'll steam and it'll just finish off cooking um, but what that means is that it's nice and flexible with the timing of uh, how this times with other things um, you know the timing with the fish and with the broccoli and stuff like that um, it's all very flexible I'm not going to bother washing it and I'm not so good at not so big in washing vegetables um, a wee bit of dirt doesn't do you any harm you want to just break these down into smallish pieces. Um, and then just basically boil it up. And when it comes to uh, cooking broccoli, I'm quite funny about it in that uh, I don't want to overcook it. Because overcooked, boiled broccoli is, is horrible but if it's been cooked just right it's really good and I'm just going to have this plain nothing to it no, it's just plain but it's really nice now I actually had a wee plan for something to do with this stock but I don't know if I'll bother with it I'll decide on that in a second What I was actually going to do, and I've kind of done it wrong now, I was going to boil some of this in with the rice, but I don't think I'll bother. I think I will just... I won't, I won't bother. I was going to chop some of this up and put it into the rice. Actually, maybe I will. Just give it a wee tidy up. I've not, I haven't done this before. It just seems like a waste. I'm using the wrong knife, but because I was going to put some peas in with the rice at the end, but I'm wondering just some of this in. There's no point in throwing it away. It's probably quite nutrient rich as well because it's in the stock and it's all the goodness comes up. We'll just bung this in with the rice. Why not? Just give it, see what happens. I don't, I don't think I've ever done this before but um, we shall see what happens. And so with this I'm just going to stick some warm water onto it. This, uh, it's just a hot tap but it's just lukewarm water that's coming out. So I shall do it at the front so you can see it. Just a 
pinch of salt in that. Now you really want to keep an eye on that because you don't want to over boil it. Uh, but what I'm going to do with that, get the colander out. What I'm going to do with that broccoli uh, is I am going to boil all of it and then I'm going to cool it down uh, with by pouring cold water onto it. I'm going to then, whenever I want some, I'm going to just microwave it. And what that means is that I'm going to store it and I'll keep it in the fridge and it will keep for a few days in the fridge. In a, in a container and what that means is that tomorrow if I want some broccoli all I have to do is just microwave a, a wee couple of pieces of it, a couple of florets so it means that tomorrow it's dead easy to have some broccoli, there's no effort uh, and I'll turn that down, so that's just starting to simmer now uh, so we'll turn that down to, to one and put the lid on the side like that it's a wee bit annoying that, um, and it's, it's going to froth over it, and it's really annoying because it all goes down the side and it burns and it's, it's no good, but uh, it doesn't matter. So the haddock, uh, smoked haddock, quite small pieces actually. Uh, so that's too small and the other one's too big. You know, as soon as I put this on there, you know, we're going to think it's too small. Wee bit small, but it's okay. It'll work. Uh, I'm just leave that there for now. See, what did I just? What did I tell you? It's really annoying that actually. Brought a fish off my hands. Just I haven't found a good solution. Oops, I haven't found a good solution. Do you know what I mean? It's all burnt there. It's looking annoying. I haven't found a good solution to not letting the rice boil over. Apart from that, which is just just, just stupid. Oh yeah, and oh yeah, I'm making, I'm making rice. I'm, uh, should have had this with mashed potatoes actually. But that's okay. The rice is good. Uh, and I didn't. I I made a bit of a mistake in my first video, which was this morning. This is the seventh uh, of April, twenty nineteen. Um, I made a wee mistake this morning when I. Uh, I was a bit nervous. I fed my cat, touched him and fed my cat and then I didn't wash my hands. So being a wee bit I'll remember that for next time. So basically all we're gonna do is we're gonna boil this broccoli, cool it down and then microwave it, and then because we'll have that over the next few days exactly that same way. And it's a good way of having broccoli and for you to be having it over the next couple of days, getting more vegetables, and it's dead easy. And I'm just going to grill this bit of fish and then I'm going to put on top of it grated cheese and cream. I'm going to put it under the air. Uh, put it under the grill, it's very thick. Just wondering if I should do something about that. Uh, because it's going to take forever to cook that. Just going to make a few slashes in it. To let the heat get into it a wee bit more. It's all going to break apart anyway at the end, so it's fine. Actually, so I'm going to have to use a massive one for the cheese. Out. Put the fit in there. This is actually for the box for the cheese grater, actually. See, as I said before, you know, nothing is um, nothing's prepared here. This is all from scratch. It's all real time. You know, there's no um, 
uh, just to show. So you can look at the length of the video and um, you can see how long it will take to cook this thing from scratch. Um, and in this case we're cooking everything. So I'm going to put the... I wonder how the fan will sound on this video just because it's a wee bit warm. I'm just going to build the, uh, the condensation up. It's going to build up in there. was something that we used to make in the restaurant, one of the restaurants I worked in a long time ago. I mean it was like 20 years ago I used to work in restaurants, it's going way back. But I still quite enjoy it as a hobby today, still still like to cook. I couldn't do it again as a job though because I've got a, got a bad back. I couldn't stand, I couldn't be on my feet for all that length of time again. Washer was quite full. I don't know if I'm going to fit this in. Uh, I'm going to just leave that there for now and I will repack that properly later on. I really like my meat cleaver and I worked in a British restaurant and they would just laugh at me for using the, the cleaver. But you can see a good example just now of how useful it is. Because I, mean, I know I haven't chopped this, but you know, if you have chopped, I'm going to be doing a lot of this. Where you chop something up and you use it to just kind of scoop stuff up. It's so useful. That. People don't quite realise it, but um, you'll be seeing me using a lot of this, uh, a lot of my meat cleaver. And what I'm doing, sort of, as you can see, sort of constantly cleaning up all the time. And this is why chefs it's such hard work because you do need to you do need to keep um, you've got to keep clean. And there's always there's always something to do. There's always something to to clean or to move around. I'll show you what the state of the rice is. Oh, forks. Really need to run a dishwasher. Uh, you can see there, there's still quite a lot of water in it, still quite a lot of moisture. Push some of the broccoli stalks down. I don't know if they're going to cook, I don't know what's going to happen with it. But, uh, so I think I'm going to. Hmm, am I going to put that under the grill now? Maybe put that under the grill now. This isn't going to take long. Once this boils, it's only going to be a minute or two. And then it's basically ready. I'm going to put my, I've got two settings for the grill. You've got low and high. I'll put this on the low. I'll pop that under now. And uh, and now I've got nothing to do now for the next couple of minutes while that cooks. I'm looking for sleeping cat. Uh, So that's the thing, if you're organised and you've got everything done and ready, you know, there's, there's just no effort. Uh, actually, I'll tell you what I can do. I'll try and get a wee bit of cat entertainment into each um, into each video. I won't give them all of that. Oh, fuck that, I don't know. Oh, so that's ruined it now. I'm just going to go and let him, I'm just going to go and give this to him, but uh, I can't really do that now because as soon as I lay that down, it's just going to do what, just for entertainment purposes. Let's just do that. Just look away now. Now this is boiling now. Now we want to be keeping an eye on that. It's only going to be a minute or two now, so it's good that I put that fish on. In fact, I'll actually crank that up now because I didn't realise it was going to boil so quickly. That rice is almost done. So we'll turn that down a little bit more. I'm going to, that's going to be ready very soon. This is like his favourite thing, and he's just done it. I 
Oh yeah, on the first video that I did, I was sniffing an awful lot. I didn't realise I sniff all the time. Uh, so that's not a pleasant sound, so I need to think about that and not sniff so much. Maybe I just, it was because it was the morning, maybe. I had a bit of block noise. <laughs> the length is tough. <laughs> you see how I'm not letting it touch the bed, so I don't get cream in this bed. Just a retreat. Wash my hands now. See if I'm learning a little progression. Actually, what I wanted to do is, I want us to fancy some peas. Got peas. Got a few peas, just put like one portion of peas. I don't know, maybe I'll put a load of peas in there. I don't know if this is going to work either. Uh, I'll mix these through actually. I'll put a few in actually, put a bit of it. Cool it right down to the Never done that. Never done that before actually. But I reckon that rice, I'm going to turn that off now. Yeah, you see that rice is about ready. You can see the water's disappeared. Hopefully you can see that. So that water's all disappeared now. Uh, whether putting these frozen peas in at this stage or not is a good idea or not, I don't know. But the residual heat from that, I reckon, I think will be good. Just give that a wee mix up. And that'll fluff it up. Now that broccoli is about ready now. And now everything's too, so I should have put that fish in sooner. That fish is going to take a while. So there we go, that's you got another vegetable. So that rice will sit there quite happily for a while now, that's annoying. I installed this uh, kitchen myself. Uh, and the one thing I regret was not getting a, an in, a built in, turn, turning that off now, is not getting a built in uh, hob with a built in oven because this looks really nice, pleased with this undermount sink and I cut these drainer grooves, I cut this with a router and the, the tap and it all looks really nice but this, oh, this is annoying practical, if this breaks it's just dead easy to fix but, uh, or replace rather but I think that this is done now you can kind of put a knife into the um, into the stocks I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, that's definitely cooked. So you want to move quite quickly now because you really don't want to overcook it. So what I'll do is I'll just do that and I'll start putting cold water. And don't put, don't blast the cold water. I don't know if that's steaming the lens up. I don't know. You don't want to blast the uh, cold water onto the broccoli. You just want to uh, put it to the side so it doesn't break it. It's still quite firm though. Look at the colour, it's still maintained it. And you can see that when I press it, you know, it's a spring in. It's, a, it's, it's just right. It's quite hot. So you want to cool that down. That's all working on that side. So what I'm going to do with this. So what, what that means now is this is all cooked. So what you can do with this now, that will sit in the fridge now for a few days, just leave it to um, to dry, pop that in a container and then, when you, and, and then what you do is, as I'm going to do right now, one plate. I want a portion of broccoli with my dinner tonight so I just take a few pieces I know it seems silly to just boil it and immediately microwave it, but it, it demonstrates the purpose. It demonstrates the point. So you take a handful of that, and then that's another, like, one, like, three small portions or two huge portions. Um, quite hungry, actually. Put a wee bit more in. I'll take plenty. Uh, and that's nice and firm, but it's cooked. Microwave that, and that'll be fine. And that'll be really good. And it's not overcooked, and it's just right. So it's a nice easy way to get a portion of vegetables um, for the next three meals. If we were to do three, that's a good three portions there from one head quite easily. Um, that's a wee technique that, and you can do the same with carrots, you can do the same with cauliflower as well, or you can, you can mix them. You just have to think about the timings a wee bit, and we'll do that another day. We'll, we'll mix up a few different ones. So I'm just going to 
turn this bit of fish over. It's quite thick actually. Uh, you know what you do with that fish. I should maybe. I was thinking about cutting it through the, cutting it through its equator and creating two s smaller pieces, but it'll be juicy in the middle. I don't need the fan on anymore. And I'll give this a clean. That there because I want to wash this pot up. And you can see that while we're waiting on that fish, you can do your, you can have a wee clean up. So if you clean these things now, they're nice and easy. If you leave these things, I mean, this, this, is, this is not very, this is not really very dirty. But if you leave things too long, they um, they'll go all hard on you, and uh, they'll be much more difficult to clean. So, my microwave is covered in water. Bung that in the microwave for uh, less than a minute, for about a minute. The microwave is up quite hard actually. Uh, I don't, I've had this microwave a few years and I only use this button. And what it does is it goes up by 30 seconds, 30, 130 and it'll start or stop. Yeah, that's it. That's the only two buttons. I don't know what these do. I don't know anything about them. <laughs> I've had it for years. I don't know what the power of it is. Do I know the power? Or oh, 750 watts? No, never thought about that before. Just bung it in for about a minute. Maybe take out a few seconds before. So I'll look at these peas and see if they're... That looks good, doesn't it? There you go. Let me just put the fork through that. You can see that's steaming up nicely. Check this broccoli and see how it's cooked. That's really good. Nice and soft. That's a good idea. Hmm. Well, it tastes really good actually. Tastes of broccoli. Because it is. That's shriveled up, isn't it? Hmm. Kind of wondering if I can Yeah, I'm gonna break it up a wee bit. It's not gonna it doesn't matter. You'll see you'll see in a minute. It's quite raw in the middle. I'm just going to break it a wee bit and now at this point it doesn't look very good. I'm going to just see that's quite raw there. You can see the difference between the rawness and the white cooked. That's quite raw there. I'm just going to put that back under the grill. Just bear with me. This doesn't look good but just bear with me and honestly this will, this will you'll be surprised. I'm going to put it under there just to cook that through a wee bit more just for a few seconds. And then it'll be good. And honestly, wait till you see that will transform from being something that doesn't look very good to the opposite. And then while well, that's just finishing off, we can dry this up. See, there's always something to do. This is why chefs basically just go to work in the morning and then they just run and don't stop until late at night. It's a young person's uh, young person's game. And basically by the time I fry these up that fish will be cooked through. Really pleased with my pot rack. It's really good. Just oh, it, they used to be basically filling up this drawer and it was all higgledy piggledy and you couldn't you couldn't, uh, if you wanted one at the bottom, you've got to pull them up and they all slam and move around. And it's just awkward. So, we are good now. so what I'm going to do with this is, you can see that's all white now. Put a wee bit of cream on it. Bit of cheese. Smoked fish. Cream and cheese. I mean, it's just, it's a sensation. I mean, put plenty on. A wee touch more cream. It's basically like a wee cheese sauce. That's it, and then I'll bung that back under the grill. Now, I'm going to clear up. Funny if I hit that cream when I was wiping that, wasn't it? So what I'm showing you here as well is that I have cooked up rice, broccoli from scratch and I've cooked up 
fish, got cheese and a prepared cheese and I've got grated cheese ready in there for the next lot and I have got, I will soon be ending up with a, a plate of nice food and a clean kitchen, this is the point I'm getting to so if you're going to, if you're doing cooking, actually we shall um, yeah, let's microwave this for a minute. Just put that in for a minute. Um, if you are cooking regularly and you end up with a stack of dirty dishes and you're like sick of it, you can't be bothered. Um, you can't be bothered washing up, and that's a right chore. I used to do it for a living, so I don't mind it. But if to everybody else who's normal, washing up's a, obviously a bit of a chore. So. Um, what you can see here is we've got a plate of food in a clean kitchen and that's what I was, that, that, these are the kind of techniques that I was kind of hoping to show in these videos and, and help people to uh, to cook nice things because if you can knock this up I and mean, look at that, you know what I mean already that looks really good, Let's turn it down a wee touch We're already on a good thing so we'll get another fork I'm going to do it, I'm going to take a dishwasher tablet and put it to the room. That's, that's definitely cooked. So, when I said a minute, I meant 30 seconds. Um, it's just to remind myself. So, there's a bit of water on that. You can just do that. So you've got the broccoli stalks, so you didn't waste that. Rice and peas, plain rice and peas. And again, you know, I'm not really looking for, uh, you know, uh, things being kind of perfectly nice. These are these are these are bits of dinner that you make. Hey, what do you think of that? Doesn't that look gorgeous? You can actually go a bit further with that and kind of blacken it almost, and it's just it just gets better and better. I was going to use that, but I think I'll just use my fork and it saves washing up. So then just slide that off. Could you see it is? Well, don't waste any of that because all of this tray is really hot and it's kind of burning my fingers. Doesn't matter. So there you go, a smoked haddock, cream and melted cheese, and dishcloth in the rice. Uh, rice with some peas that I put in just near the end, frozen peas I put in near the end. Don't waste any of that. Rice with some peas that I put in near the end, and I didn't even waste the broccoli stalks because they are in there with the rice. Boil up the, bro boil up the whole head of broccoli. And then tomorrow, so, so tomorrow now, rice. Tomorrow when I come to have this, I'm going to reheat this rice. Um, and I'm going to reheat that broccoli. Now reheating rice is a funny business. Oh, I, meant, I meant to look up the name of the, there's a, basically what happens is, when you boil up your rice, if you let it cool, as it's cooling down and it's cold, there's a, there's a bacteria that develops in the rice. And when you reheat the rice, that bacteria uh, doesn't get killed. I'll maybe put the name of it up because I can't remember. I meant to look that up. Now, if you've ever had fried rice in a Chinese restaurant, then you've had reheated rice. Um, I've been reheating rice my whole life and it's never done me any harm. Basically, the, what you, the key point is, is that you have to get it into the fridge as soon as possible. So I'm going to put this rice into the fridge. Um, within an hour and as long as you get it into the fridge within an hour you can microwave that so that you could take a portion like that microwave it for one minute 30 seconds and it'll be fine if I happen to leave this out overnight by accident I would bin it I wouldn't I wouldn't if I leave it out at room temperature for any more than a few hours for it overnight I would I would throw it away I wouldn't I would not reheat it so the key point is you see I've taken it off the heat it's on the uh, 
it's on here now to get it starting to cool as quickly as possible. What I really should do is probably put it into a plastic container now and then that will cool even quicker. Uh, so I just don't happen to have one, I don't have a, don't have a small one. But um, yeah, so if you don't want to reheat rice because it's a thing, just don't do it. But I'm living on my own and so that's some of the things I've been wanting to show in these videos as well is, is, is techniques for cooking when you're by yourself. Because I can't bother cooking up this every night. I can't be bothered cooking up this a portion of this every night. These are techniques that you can use to um, make life a wee bit easier. But again, cooking reheating rice is if you take that into the internet, it will say definitely don't do it. But as long as you cool it within, get it in the fridge within an hour, it, that'll reheat all that over the next couple of days and it'll be fine. But uh, just do whatever you do your own research on that. So there you go. Smoked haddock, cream and cheese, rice, broccoli, peas, and it rhymes. So I shall uh, talk to you next time.